Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynanne. Today is a bonus video. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust the lighting. Um, I'm going to try to do a tutorial. So bear with me. This is my first shot at this. Um, I had some people ask me how I made my twisted fringe. Now this isn't a new concept. I got it from somebody else's website, but I thought if I'm going to start tutorials, maybe I'll start with something simple and see how well it goes. Um, so what you need is the yarn that you're going to use, um, with fringe, it could be a contrasting color. It could be the same color wherever your imagination goes the hook that you're using and I'm using a six and a half millimeter um one that I got from Amazon I think it was like eleven dollars for a set of like eight of these but I love these I love the way they feel in my hand I love the metal hooks and then the other thing that I recommend is a flat tape measure that you can lay flat down on your on your working surface in front of you um, if you don't have a flat tape measure, maybe just pull out a piece of yarn to the length that you want and so that you have some way to be consistent with your big loop. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So you won't see this part because I don't know that I've got the capability of coming all the way down. But anyway, here's the tricky part. I'm going to try to lower my camera so you can see what I'm doing in my hands. Um... So bear with me while I lower this down a little bit. Okay. So my project, I'm going to do, I'm going to start it from the back side. Um, so the back side is facing me. You have your working yarn. Um, attach it to your progress pro project. However, you're comfortable. I'm just going to do a slip knot you know, standing crochet slip knot. So now my project's attached. I start with a single crochet. Oh, you didn't see me do that. Let's try this again so you can see what I'm doing. Single crochet. And then from that single crochet, pull up a really long loop. Uh, my loop is probably going to be, I'm going about 16 inches because I want this to be a pretty substantial fringe because this is a pretty substantial project. So you pull up your, your loop and this is the tedious part bring your finger into the loop and you twist still holding it here at the single crochet and you twist and you twist and when you feel it starting to you can feel it start to uh curl up on itself i've heard some people say do 30 twirls some people say 40 twirls you'll feel it when you know how it's how you think you want it how tight you want the twist so now if you let it go, you can see it starts to automatically curl up on itself. I I go a couple more times after that. Grab your hook. Come back down here to your single crochet. Slip stitch into the single crochet. right through the end of that loop. Give it a little tug. Give this a little tug and a twist and you have your fringe. To do the next one, slip stitch into the next stitch. Now, if you're gonna go from there, if you're gonna do a fringe in every stitch, pull up your loop so that you have the same size loop. And twirl. Now, if you wanted to say skip, just slip stitch into the next step stitch and go, you know, to the next one and slip stitch and pull up the loop. So now we've got, you know, we're starting to twirl. 
put it back into onto your loop come down in here slip stitch give it a little bit of a tug give this a little bit of a tug and you've got your second fringe Ooh, I did that one too long slip stitch into the next stitch pull up your loop and twirl that's it that's how you do a twisted fringe it's a little tedious but in the long run I think the end product is worth it I think it adds that little bit of something else um, that little finished look on so on certain projects. I mean, this isn't going to work for every project, but this is a substantial enough project that I think it can handle the weighted look of this twisted fringe. And ta-da! So that's how I do twisted fringe. Now, not everybody does it the same way, and that's okay. Uh, if you have a better way of doing it, so be it. Um, but somebody asked me how I did it and that's how I did it. So um, if you have any questions, please contact me. My email is listed below. You can catch me on Facebook and on Instagram. And until next time on Sunday, be kind to everyone.